Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Lunacid. This game's come highly recommended by several people, specifically to me. Um, it is inspired by uh, many things, uh, including things like King's Field and other uh, low res kind of RPGs, um, which I'm failing to remember. But either way, um, let's let's dive into it. Start a new game. Yes. I'm a, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna assume that maybe a content warning here if uh, if you don't want to see dark themes or violence or trauma let's let's go ahead and throw that down right there right right now just to be safe. We're definitely going for a look. I love the low res, um, what do you want to call it? Trend? Ooh, I don't even know what that was. Oh, is it like a fish dragon? Uh, nope, Th that would be neither of those. That thing, it looks horrifying. Okay, long ago, a great beast came from the sea. Oh, we, we've got voice acting, actually. With it, a poisonous fog that spread across the earth, corrupting everything it reached. The poison fog slowly transformed the world and brought about a new age. Now, grounded by the poison sky, and outnumbered by creatures, humankind became desperate and formed feudal kingdoms. Closed off from each other, they became paranoid and are on the brink of extinction. Those deemed undesirable, such as criminals or the ill, are cast out, banished into the depths of the Great Well. A pit of the diseased and undead. The great well is said to have but one door to the surface. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, if you if you're feeling or thinking, hey, this has got Dark Souls vibes. I mean, um, from software originally made a game called Kingsfield, and I'm sure there was even a game before Kingsfield. People love to tell you that they love Kingsfield. Um, so this is uh, less inspired by dark souls i think and more inspired by the influence or the the predecessor to dark souls you belong to the depths now Ooh. oh god i love the flick did we lose is that us did we lose our hand Ah, oh, we make a new character. Um, Biggus Simpus. B Beauty preset. Ah, uh, I love the art. I love what we got. Oh, this, this guy looks cool. All right. Um, Night Witch. So we've got Magic Vampire Undead Royal Cleric. I do like cleric just in general a nurturing healer on a pilgrimage to help those who are lost in the great well they put others first for better or worse here let me uh let me set you up here finalize creation yes i go with god to the depths my hand severed from my body
I couldn't read that. Oh god, okay, for what do you mean we don't have options? Okay, it's tab. Thank god. Um do 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 invert y yes thank you for making that an option appreciate you bud can we increase the sensitivity somewhat yeah nice this feels pretty good i love the vibes that we're going for here what do you mean i'm not picking herbs right away This dank place is more than I deserve. Lost grave, Akuma Kira. Um, so if I was to guess, I would assume that this is a save pause spot. Yo, it's like I've played a video game before level up so this is how where we level up we cannot level up i love the graphics in this game we're going for low ri low res but not like decrepit res you know like we are um there's room for growth here you know it feels it feels like very deliberate but it doesn't feel bad you know it doesn't look bad in fact i feel like we've even got anti-aliasing which is a step up and and in some ways we've got some really complex textures on some of these things so like game is uh game is low res but not like deliberately bad i don't mind a game going for like bad vibes i think that there's room for that as well in fact i even like it but um i also uh, appreciate it when a game you know looks nice there was a time when a lot of games looked like this, but they never looked like this. Let's be real. Like, you know, uh, back in the 90s, they never looked like this. Let's let's just uh, get that clear. Because um, we have to equip our replica sword, huh? Um, those things were like low res. We didn't have like heavy like we this game would look awful is what i'm saying like we we wouldn't have anti-aliasing or we wouldn't have post-processing um the game would look like garbage um in a very charming nostalgic way seek the slumbering creature of moonlight they are the last existing door i don't know actually if this game is a roguelike i don't think it is Ashes acquired. So you can hold the button down for a big swing. Or you can do some quick slashes. I thought I saw a spider or something. We've got we've got some mood. Oh my. You can actually like slash cut the bodies, which is kind of fun. Oh, you can cut the flowers. I love that. The, uh, the little touches of uh, interaction with the world are really quite nice. Ooh, a snail. This uh, straight up takes, I, I've been t saying it a lot lately, so maybe people are sick of hearing it, but I don't care. It gives me Grimrock vibes. Man who has only played one game. This gives me Grimrock vibes. I just, uh, I love the snails in, in Legend of Grimrock. Like, I love the idea of a giant snail as a enemy. Like, they're really one of the most alien looking creatures when you think about it. They've got this like hard shell that they can crawl up into. And then they've got these like antennae. But they're not antennae. They're there. That's their eyes. And they can kind of like bloop, you know, bring their eyes into their head. Like they're just such a weird creature. Health vial acquired. This the lock just blinked at me. No effect. Okay. I sure hope we don't have 
the cursed weapon durability. You know, that's the that's the mechanic that makes a game bad instantly for many people. Which I don't understand, but I'm not going to have that conversation here. Let's not sully this uh, experience with a otherwise rather tedious dialogue. I wonder if there's any reason to cut the flowers. Like, can you collect plants? Do we have a map? Pressing buttons just for hope. Press button to, you know, for, um, for determination. The forgotten withered remnants of a dead fellow. Biga Simpos. I wonder, I was like, I, I kind of wondered, um, if I like hit the shell, does it have a, does it actually like, you know, protect it? And yeah, it does. It gives us like the, 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 the feedback is actually really decent in this game. Like when you hit a shell, it gives you a very, um, communicative sound effect. I, I appreciate that a lot, actually. You don't know how uh, much you miss sound effects when you don't have them. Temple of Silence, Hollow Basin. I really don't know. Oh, is this where I just was? I really don't know if this is generated at all. If this is, you know what? Maybe. Oh, you know what? Let's not spoil it. Maybe. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go into this completely blind. I'm not gonna even look up what genre this is. I wonder if I can mine materials. I wonder if I can collect anything from those. I've been playing a certain game uh, lately, a certain game that would get my channel destroyed from nuked from orbit from a certain uh, company. And um, I, I've been enjoying some rather mundane mechanics about it, like mining, collecting resources. You know, these are things that we kind of take for granted, but you know, when you when you break them down, they're really quite nice to just kind of enjoy a vibe, a mood. You know, uh, I have cut off the eyes of the snail, and yet it persists. Okay, there we go. I don't know um, if we have experience yet. Like, I really don't know anything. And you know, that's it's a, it's a kind of fun feeling when you don't know anything. Like, we... We, uh... I hate to say it. Gamers. I don't even like saying that. Gamers really take for granted just what a layer cake of understanding that they have. You really, like, you really do take for granted how much, how much you, like, uh, games are built on the presumption that you understand how to play the game. Like, obviously this one is inspired by other games of its ilk, you know, Kingsfield, but basically just RPGs in general, right? Um... We, you know, when you go into making a game, you want to make an RPG, and you and most people have an understanding of what that means, right? Uh, you kill things, you level up, maybe, you collect equipment, you have resources, you can maybe craft, um, you know, it, it kind of depends, like, people pick and choose the mechanics that we have accepted as being part of that genre. Right. Uh, so when, you know, and there's a good reason that this is the case. There is a good reason why we build on a presumption of understanding, because when someone goes into your game, they don't, you don't have to explain to them how certain things work. You don't have to explain to them, hey, you can attack creatures. You can level up. You can progress. This is, this is, thing, these are things that the player understands innately, you know, but I do think that there's room for a conversation where, you know, like, hey, I want to build an RPG, maybe. Well, what are you going to have in that game? 
how are you gonna like how are how is the player going to progress how are you going to obtain items um these aren't things that have to be set in stone you know these are not things that need to be built on that same layer cake it could be that you want to make friends with creatures um and you gain experience by giving hugs you know like i, I know that's silly but um just an example so what do we, we got what do we got here open Ooh, flame spear acquired flame spear is that a weapon no it's a magic ring i mean it did look like a ring flame spear Type aggressive costs 10, cast time 1.30, damage 20, fires a flaming javelin, a weaponized form of pyromancy, created by Fire Wish Witch Ashley. Okay, how does one use that? Um okay, I have a spell in the top right corner, I do see that. So Q is holster your weapon. Interesting that that's a thing. Ah, so it's it's C. C is cast. That makes sense. Uh, are you a friend? Demi, well, you look a little lost. Here, I'll give you a voice for this one. This area is called Hollow Basin. It's the highest reached point of the Great Well. It's also one of the safest areas of the Great Well, except, of course, Wings Rest. Speaking of Wings Rest, I can spirit you there if you want. Right, righty. Well, I'm here if you ever need to get there. Yeah, okay. We've got a lever. Oh, is this a shortcut? Do we have shortcuts in this game? Surely to God that reminds me of a certain game. Can't have can't have shortcuts in a game. It's it makes it a Dark Souls. Ah yes, I know this place well. This is a place of familiarity. I've been learning a lot about game design lately, uh, because I've been building. A, I, I kind of showed this off in a stream recently, but I, I've been building a, a tabletop um, like a D and D campaign, and um, it's really kind of fascinating how little i know or how little i knew and also um how little dungeons and dragons teaches you when it comes to game design strength defines maximum health and damage done with melee weapons okay uh let's take that and let's take defense defines maximum health and how much can you be blocked before your guard is broken i haven't really been doing a lot of blocking so maybe i don't care as much Speed defines maximum running speed. I don't... I, I haven't run at all yet. I don't know how to, I, I don't think. Intelligence defines maximum mana, spell damage, and how fast spells charge. Let's put a couple of points in that and a couple of points in strength. Resistance is what? Defines how long status effects take to wear off. We'll figure that... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Finish leveling, and then let's save again, actually. And we can warp? Ooh. What is this? We don't know what that is yet. Um, it's amazing to me, like, when you get into Dungeons & Dragons, how little, like, the DMG kind of teaches you about game design. Like, how do you build a dungeon? Um, how do you build a world? Like, they'll tell you uh, how to fill it with fluff and how to fill it with NPCs. But if you actually want a shorthand for building a dungeon, it, it teaches you nothing. Like, seriously nothing. Um... So I've been looking up some really interesting resources for like actually learning how to design a dungeon and how to do that. Like one, like a method, like, um, you know, uh, having a loop, basically. Lots of loops are great for uh, dungeons in terms of like, you know, you move around them. Uh, you have to, you know, you, you have things that loop around. You have a um, varied design a, a dungeon, like, a, um, I guess, dynamic. So that it's not just, it doesn't just feel like a, a, you know, a tunnel. It doesn't just feel like, I think, is it like, uh, is it what, Final Fantasy X that everyone talks about? Is it just like a tunnel with enemies in it? Um, because that's not very interesting for the player, right? So you have loops. 
and um, you kind of convolute those loops. You have loops that loop around a little bit, right? So like a uh, example of a loop is like having, um, you know, a closed door in front of you. And then you have to kind of navigate the other parts of the dungeon, find the key. The key opens the door and the, the door functions as a shortcut, you know? Um, but then you have to have moments of familiarity, uh, key anchor points that kind of bring the player to uh, like a very quick understanding that they've returned to some, a place that they, they once knew, right? So you, you add like key features, like say in your main room, he's like, you there is a, um, a statue. Well, I mean, like that's what this game did, right? Why not build on what we know right now? You have a statue that is like broken of uh, an angel that has three eyes, right? Something really easy right away. And uh, and then the player is like, okay, that's interesting. Angel with three eyes and it's broken. And then when uh, they find the key and they open the door and they, they walk through that door, he says, you're in a room with an angel, with a broken angel with three eyes. And they're instantly like, oh, right. I know this place. And uh, that leads to some like satisfaction. You you are compelled by that, hopefully. Summons a spectral orb of light that follows the caster for 60 seconds, useful for illuminating depths of the well. I wonder how I cast that. Is that V? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we have C and V. I haven't used my spell yet. I do kind of wish we had a map. Game manual. Oh, I like that art. Control, story, jump. We have a jump. Shift is run or walk. Are we always running? Tap, shift, move backwards, 180 turn. Oh, that's seriously disorienting. So, um, how do we run? It, it, it looked like, uh, there, there, we had like the ability to run based on when I was leveling up, but maybe that's just like, we're always running and, uh, that just increases how fast we run. I don't know now. Now I'm wondering, but I'm very easily getting lost in this world. I'm pretty sure this is the way back to uh, Demi. I do want to go. She offered to take me somewhere. Let's see what this illumination looks like. Fun. Kind of, it kind of gets in my way a little bit, but it's fine. All right. Take me, take me back somewhere. Want to go to Wings Rest? Sure. Gotcha. One moment. Is this just the, the main area? Oh, no. This is a, a different area completely. Wings Rest. Crystal Shards Acquired. Okay, so this is our, like, main area. This is uh, our Firelink Shrine, basically. Ooh, good. It worked. Last time I tried that spell, it only worked about halfway. So this is Wing's Rest. It's an old temple of sorts made by a sect of holy monks. They were banished into the Great Well back during the Crusades. Although they are long gone, they, their protective magic still lingers. Take your time and relax here. Oh, sorry. If you want to head back out, use the crystal where you came in. Okay. Um, is this a bird person? I love the design. The designs of the characters are really cool. Oh, we got a, another voice again. Hold on. Oh, what a mess you've been caught up in. Welcome to the Depths Outsider. Escape to the Outworld has been long a myth. But if you're going to explore, why not prepare yourself? Fancy a new trinket, perhaps? Cheryl the Crow. 
purchase. We don't have... I don't think we have very much money. Is this how much money we have? Because that's not a lot. Hello. Um, I'm going to probably do some uh, editing here, but uh, believe me, I looked around for a long time to figure out what I was supposed to do next. Ah, I wasn't asleep. I was just uh, fancy a new trinket, perhaps. So I did look at this door and I glanced right over the key and uh, there it is. So uh, there you go. Yeah, I mean, um, you know, if you uh, see it, then it's no problem. But if you miss it, you could be spending a long time looking for that key as I did. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, there's definitely arguments to be made about why it's fine. Um, obviously there have been examples of like, you just buy the key you need at the shopkeep. Um, certainly that is true in, uh, some Dark, Dark Souls games. I don't know why it's ever been a problem for me in, um, you know, I, I don't think it's ever been a problem for me in Dark Souls and I don't know why that is. I don't know why it was a problem for me in this game that I was, you know, that I just didn't see it. Um... Or I didn't register it. I'll tell you one thing. Um, maybe this isn't a criticism or a complaint or anything like that. I'll, t I'll just, it's an explanation um, as to why I didn't see it. Is it was called an enchanted key. So my eyes just kind of glazed over and says, okay, some kind of enchanted thing. Why did it have to be an enchanted key? I'm just, that is genuinely a question. Um, seems needless. But anyway, so uh, this is a new day. I actually stopped recording uh, the other day. I, I was kind of annoyed. I spent a long time looking for the key and not finding. And you know, there's nothing more frustrating than like not understanding what you're supposed to do next. I feel like I have gone maybe the wrong way. It's fine. I don't care. Um, but you might see the reason I bring it up that, hey, it's a new day. Um, is uh, if you look in the top right corner, you'll see where the moon was. There was a tiny sliver before, but now there is no sliver. So I have to imagine that means we're in a new moon phase. Um, that I am closer to a new moon. And therefore, I think that my spells are probably going to be their weakest now. I think that that's how it works. Yeah, a couple, a couple strong swipes of this is actually really good. Um, I think this is a dead end. I can't remember. Yeah, we're going that way. But yeah, uh, I like the combat in this game. I mean, I haven't really seen anything too hectic yet. I don't know if the snail can hurt me after it's, uh, I, I've cut its head off. Oh, whatever. We're going to be going one last cycle through this dungeon because I can't find this stupid door now that I have the key. Let me guess. This is the wrong way. Okay, here we go. This is it. We'll probably see something more exciting now. Um, all right. What do we do here? Do we have to like select the key? Enchanted key. Equip. And then how does one use a button? Um, okay, manual. Game manual. Controls. Uh, left click trigger. Shift button. Open close menus. Yeah, none of that is uh, quick buttons. Oh, wait, use quick button. Open close menus. It's I, I see it for the gamepad, but I don't see it for the use quick item. I wonder if it's just a number key. Um, I, I've been having a lot of frustration lately with um, there we go. Apparently it was it was just a number key with like, I don't know, um, poorly explained instructions. I understand that that's what we're going for here, but even uh, Dark Souls had a tutorial. So, you know, I'm a little bit confused, but it's fine. 
we're 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 in the next area and i'm ready to kill something and you know one nice thing one one uh, silver lining of this situation is it has kind of power leveled me up a bit i have uh you know <laughs> roamed through that dungeon quite a few times um killing and killing things and so i am probably higher level than i need to be nice thing i i do have that this um light spell should help me i don't need to pull out a torch hopefully i would prefer not to pull out a torch Ooh, this place looks decidedly spooky i'm gonna go ahead and cast this spell again um so that i don't have to worry when that the other one stops it looks to me like you can actually cast it as many times as you want you can have like a few of them going off at once and they actually cast more light if you have more of them that's kind of nice i do like hitting the jars quite surprised we haven't seen any creepy crawlies yet hello I like the little head bobble what is this what is that There is a reason to break those jars. You do get stuff out of them, maybe. Can I read that? I'm really not seeing anything. Ooh, those, those guys look kind of disturbed. I could definitely see them waking up. I'm just gonna keep casting light needlessly so that I don't have to oh read soon we'll be free of the accursed well for great prophet Abdul has found a way out while we are tethered here physically our minds can be extra uh, extricated with enlightenment so these guys are astral projecting um you know they 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 are vibing in the depths while their souls are free to uh, linger up above. I don't think this is a particularly long game, by the way. Ash is acquired. You know what I should do that I haven't done is I haven't. There we go. Equip health vial. Um, I don't know how to swap through items. Ritual dagger acquired. Still not seeing any enemies. Wild. Seems to me I, I want to jump down there. I see a, uh, a door I can open. I, uh, I know we don't have, generally speaking, ooh, what is that? Well, okay, two cents acquired. I know we generally don't have a map in Souls games, but I do wish I had one. I wonder... Oh, I can kill this thing, yeah. Oh, you can cut his limbs off. Dang. Onyx acquired. I don't know what these guys can do, but I don't want to really find out. This place is uh, is pretty dank, I gotta say. It, it is not filled with good vibes. 
the good vibes only crowd would hate it. More money? Are you something? Oh, I can read this. It appears the brain was removed, but the wounds were inflicted with, within the skull itself. It looks like the brain carved its own way out. Good lord. What? Hey, secrets. I knew there were secrets in this game. Many more things to kill. Oh, you've got a some kind of staff. Ouch. Ow, that hurt a lot, actually. I guess it's a sword. Ow. Stop it. Ow. I'm poisoned. Okay, uh, heal myself. I, I don't... Okay, there we go. Oh my god, they're they're actually a lot faster than you would think. I'm trying to like cut off their head, but I don't think it actually makes a difference. Okay, we're gonna use another health potion. I don't have man too many of those. I hear another one. I'm trying to I'm trying to get its cut its arms off. Although this we, we do a fair amount of damage. Oh, is this a save point? Nope, just a crystal shard. I wonder if I can make a save point. The this sword seems to be more effective at killing these guys than the sickle. I'm I wonder if they were they are actually um resistant to ice. Got some more money. We might be able to buy a new weapon pretty soon. We got a shield. Long ago, I heard tales of Abdul and his temple, how they managed to reach enlightenment and escape, but they're still here, or at least their bodies are. We've got a lot of foreshadowing on this business regarding ascension. I uh, wonder how one would equip a shield. Can I do like... um? Yeah, I can do it. Can I do a shield in my other hand? Uh, how does this work? Do I have like two hands? Uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if this works for me. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how the wooden shield works. I, I can't imagine. Normally used in the offhand and paired with a sword or thrusting weapon. Provides ample defense if timed well. I don't. Do we. Are we really meant to, like, swap on the fly? That seems really weird. Okay, we're casting more light. I'm almost out of mana. I tried to hit its arm because I feel like that's probably, yeah. If we disarm it, no, no pun intended. Blood wine acquired. Getting pretty efficient at killing these things. I have no more mana, so whatever, where, whatever I find, I, I need to find like a shortcut or something. More money. That was pretty good, actually. Managed to cut off both of its limbs right away. There seems to be a sweet spot for, like, do hitting limbs off. Is this a... No. I might have to pull out my torch pretty soon. I don't know what that is. No secret there. Oh god. Okay, here we go. Torch time. Wait, what? What? I thought I equipped it. Torch. 
There we go. There we go. Mirage. Okay. These guys don't take a lot of damage from that. And so we can either fight things in the dark. And I do mean the dark. Or we can do some hot swapping. Or we could just avoid things entirely. I don't mind. I don't mind avoiding things. I, I have some pretty good speed on me. I, uh, that came out wrong, maybe. Am I going back up? Hey, I have some moon now. Where did that come from? I really can't tell if I'm going back or if this is a new if I if I have progressed past. Well, no, cuz when I came, when I entered there were no mummies to speak of. But I do remember this guy. So, have I just like wrapped fully around? I swear to god, I remember this stream as well. Well, you know, that's fine. Um, yeah, I, I, I wrapped all the way around and I'm, I find myself in a familiar place. That's fine. Um, I'm cool with that. Why don't I call it here? I was hoping to find a boss or something or like something of like note or significance. But um, I'm, you know, I get lost easily in this game. Um, but we did, we did see some interesting stuff. I, I wouldn't mind doing more of this game. I don't know if it's worthy of a, like, it is worthy of a series. I don't know if it's, if it, if it's a, if a series for me would be something that people want. But I don't know. I'm, I'm game. Um, can we level up? We have 18 skill points left. What? Oh my God! We can. Yeah, and it's one point each so we can just like kind of go ham. I wouldn't mind having like eight more points in speed There we go Yeah, I definitely feel a little bit uh, peppier now um, Let's go back to our resting point. Yeah, that was a lot of experience. I just got I wouldn't I would like to figure out how to make potions want to trace some alchemy sure Ashes Obsidian I don't know how this works at all and the game doesn't want to explain it to me at all It seems to me that it limits the items that are um combinable so we need three combinable uh items and i just don't have them yet we have onyx what does that combine with obsidian so i just haven't found like a third complete uh you know i haven't i haven't found a complete formula yet that's all it is but hey we get we, we can buy a weapon i'm so tired Saw we biggest simpus. Sometimes it's hard to being the only one that needs to sleep. I've never seen Demi sleep, and everyone else here are technically dead. Kaka. Anyway, fancy a new trinket? Yeah. Uh, crossbow is tempting. Antidote against poison, huh? Steel needle. Strangely modified rapier with the guard removed. Though quick and agile, some defense is sacrificed. Um, interesting. And the crossbow, basic ranged weapon. I don't know if I need ammo for the crossbow, but I'm kind of tempted on that one. Let's grab a crossbow. Let's see what that looks like. Torch, I assume we can't have it. I don't know what the deal is with our offhand. That one it seemed a little bit weird to me. 
like can we um is there a button maybe to hold both items in like one in each hand i'm assuming there isn't i don't think that that's the kind of game they're going for um attack move around swap weapons use quick items swap quick items yeah i don't think so i think they're going for you have to swap things around pretty quickly but hey, there's a crossbow, and I don't think I have... I need to have ammo for it. That's kind of nice. Um, I should be able to... Maybe I, maybe I can upgrade this weapon? Oops. Weapon cannot be enhanced. What about the sickle? Cannot be enhanced. What about the crossbow? Weapon is not ready. Okay, so I need to gain more experience with this item before I can upgrade it. There is a satisfaction in like upgrading items or weapons by, uh, you know, putting some, uh, putting some effort into it. I appreciate that. Um, well, that's going to do it. I, uh, I like this game. I would have had a better first impression of it if I hadn't spent so much time looking for that key. Uh, you're welcome, by the way, for having cut all of that out. So much time wasted. But uh, either way, I, I, I do like the combat in this game. It's it's very simple, but, uh, you know, it's I, I like that. You know, I like that it's not super uh, high maintenance. I like that this game is kind of slow. But, you know, even a after putting some points in speed, I feel like it's, it's a lot snappier than, uh, you know, first impressions might give. But um, anyway, Lunacid, what have you uh, what do you make of it? Let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, definitely hit that like button. Consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.